Yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. It's going to be you know a big, big card and a, a massive fight on you know in the O2. It's my first time going to be boxing in the O2, and I'm just just like massively excited to you know I'm challenging um, Lenroy Tom. I mean, yeah, Lenroy Thomas for the Commonwealth title. You're at it now, yeah, I know. You, you mess- <laughs> I know. I've jinxed you. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, so. Yeah, the title, the Commonwealth title's on the line on a massive card at the O2. So, and uh, Lemroy Thomas is a tough op- opponent. So, you know, I'm up for the challenge, and I, I want to take his belt. He's had a lot more fights than you. I think it's 26 to your three. Does that intimidate you anyway, or you just you think he's had his day now and it's your turn? I'm massively experienced uh, in the amateur scene. You know, I've won, I've won all the medals, the, all the five major medals, and. I've also had experience in WSB, so I think with um, fighting Lemroy, I'm, I think I'm prepared. So I'm just ready to, you know, hopefully put on an explosive display and and win that belt. And um, going up for a Commonwealth title on your fir- fourth fight is a massive privilege. How are you feeling about that for somebody to have that much belief in you so early on in your professional career? Yeah. The, yeah, in only four fights, getting uh, challenging for the Commonwealth title is massive, and I think uh, my team of um, we, we was gonna we was gonna we was hoping to fight Chisora um, on this card, but um, it, I think it's worked out even better ch- um, challenging Lenroy for the for the title, and I think my team you know has confidence in me, and I have confidence in myself in delivering. Do you know, it's like you read my mind that my next question was going to be, what happened between you and Derek Chisora? Why aren't you fighting him on your next fight? And now it's Lenroy Thomas. Uh, quite simply, he didn't want the fight. I thought... Is he scared? Uh, well, you, you can ask him that. He was, he was there with an orange coat, uh, jacket. I might just do that after you. So you, you won't miss him. And uh, on to Saturday, um, Bellew versus Hay. What's your prediction? How do you think the fight's going to go? I think um, obviously the first round they're going to just. Uh, oh, actually, I, I'm, you're never 100 percent with with boxing how it's going to go. But I think the first round they're going to feed it, feed each other out. I think, but possibly they know each other, so maybe they might just come out swinging shots at each other. You never know. But I think um, I don't think it's going to go the distance. But I've seen uh, David. All respect to Tony Bellew, but I've seen David. You know, first hand in the gym, and he's you know he hasn't looked. He's, he's looking, you know, he's in great form. He's um, he's looking solid, slick, and uh, elusive in sparring. He's landing like heavy shot, heavy bombs on um, you know Salas's pads, and it, I think um, I, I think you're going to see some of the old David Hay back. And Bellew actually pushed um, Hay during the conf- the uh, press conference. What do you think about that? Is that bad sportsmanship? And what would you do in that situation? Uh, try and get a counter off. <laughs> <laughs> Would you knock him out? <laughs> knock him out. <laughs> there you go. That's what I like to hear. You're a true gentleman. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to be rooting for you on Saturday, and thank you for your time. Thanks a lot.